What we see changes who we are. When we act together, the whole thing is much more than the sum of the parts. This is Wake Forest University. This is our university. It's a place we are fortunate to call home and a place where the culture of excellence is fully embraced by the student body. But it is also a place many feel lacks a true sense of community. I love Wake. I've had so much fun here. There's so many opportunities. Um, but I would definitely say it's a divided place. I've found it a place where I hang out with my group and I found it hard to interact with other groups. Who are the people that go here? like? You're in your little groups all the time, and you're in your classes, and you're in your friends, and you're in the people that you eat at the pit and stuff. It's everybody stay here, everybody stay here, everybody stay here. Nobody leave whatever this, whatever this, this sort of vacuum is. We don't get out of it. We just stay in it. The reality is, many students share these views, but talking about these issues in a constructive way is tough. There have been efforts to increase the sense of community for a while now, and improvements are slowly being made. But what is it that we can do right now? What can we do as a collective student body to help each other have a better experience here? Earlier in the year, we stumbled across a TED talk given by a man known as JR. He pastes massive images of people's faces on a variety of different surfaces, anything from the sides of entire buildings to the roofs of trains. He does this to share their stories with the world and to force people to engage. Art is not supposed to change the world, to change practical things, but to change the perceptions. Actually, the fact that art cannot change things makes it a neutral place for exchanges and discussions. So now my wish is, I wish for you to stand up for what you care about by participating in a global art project, and together we'll turn the world inside out. So a subject you're passionate about, a person you want to tell the story, or even your own photo, tell me what you stand for. We immediately saw the potential in doing something in a similar fashion on the Wake campus. And so we created the idea behind Inside Out Wake. Inside Out Wake is a project that really was the brainchild of three students. And really the message is about bringing people together. It's about like being able to to branch out of your group and interacting with people who you normally wouldn't talk to or be around. It's just uh, combining the forces that make up Wake Forest. We're all Wake Forest students and we should all try and make this time of our lives as like supportive and nurturing as possible. It's more about social cohesiveness, not just cultural cohesiveness. It allows a person of one group, you know, to learn about a person from another group. And I think the beauty of the project is, is what it's trying to say is, we can all belong to different student organizations. We could all be in Greek life or athletics or not in any of them, but we all can be a common community, which is Wake Forest. In order to have the largest impact on campus, we decided that we wanted five students who would represent as many aspects of the Wake Forest community as possible. That would include a wide collection of academic and social interests. We wanted to represent athletes, non-athletes, Greeks, non-Greeks, independent artists, all of whom were high achieving their respective academic path, ranging from pre-med to business to film. We chose these people so that they could carry our message into their distinct social circles. This project was a massive group effort built from a movement of supporters across the Wake Forest community. We reached out to everyone that could help make this idea a reality. Facilities, the Humanities Institute, the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, the Provost, the President, and finally, JR's team. Okay, you um, wanna show Josh the image? Sure. <laughs> Here's the image that we have. Very cool. From butcher test pace to literally every printer within a two hour radius of wake breaking. Hi. Hello. To technical difficulties over the phone. Okay, yeah. 
We thought we had reached our end. Okay, so can we give you the other files? We have, we need to print 24 of these. Are the same files? Uh, yes. But somehow, by the night of March 21st, everything had fallen into place. We spent six or seven hours from 12 to 7 in the morning on a Thursday night pacing this thing up on the wall and it was maybe 12 of us from all over Wake Forest. I was talking to some people and I was like, we could be at home sleeping right now, but we're here making memories of pasting this massive thing. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll like give you a second. You can't forget about the people who do the intricate details. I didn't think it was going to be as detailed and as, as time consuming as it was. So when I went at 2 in the morning, to see like what the progress was on the poster. I was like, wow, this is gonna turn out better than I thought it was. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh. It's tricky, wreck around, that's right on time, that's tricky. Hey, tricky, tricky, tricky. I met this little girl. There wasn't any music playing. That's when I And I feel like it turned into like its own little karaoke, just to keep everyone entertained during the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. In the beginning of the year, ran into COVID, get shine, and I found out that Lindsay was in the group also. Then they came to me, said they got an idea. It's a project that we want, it's coming near, which means soon. We want to put it on the wall and then post it. We want to show these people something they know this. We want them to know that it's not just one type of individual that goes to the school if you ain't know this. I mean, I guess that a couple of us were hoping that somebody would do a project like this and close in the year I'm about to graduate I'm glad to see it posted up and I just want to know I mean bring it up, bring it up. what did I find out that's how it fall out Down dude it's right getting there. real weird <laughs> it's been weird for a long time I don't even know what day it is anymore seven in the morning comes around we're all so tired so cold we have hand warmers and we're like like clutching each other and it's just so cold and we all like step back and we're like like, whoa. Yeah, don't take it out. It's uh, out. It'll be out. We out here. Oh, making this money. <laughs> making nothing. Still got my money. Back up, back up. How are y'all gonna get back right in front of the <laughs> Oh my god. It like gets better the farther you walk. Yeah. The farther yeah. away you go. Ah! Yeah, I should have fucking like. Oh my, oh my god. god. You guys! Oh Why is the sun up right now? <laughs> <laughs> so we were in the wall. We weren't on it. We were just part of it. Part of the wall, part of Wake. It just it made sense. The world made sense when we looked back at 7 in the morning. And like it was so cool because it went up in one day. So no one knew what was happening except for maybe 20 people. On the morning of March 22nd, the Inside Out Wake print appeared on the lower quad. The website and Facebook page were launched, and once the piece was up and running, we left it up to the community to generate a response. One of the first things I heard people say was, 
that it looks like a Mount Rushmore, which I thought was comical. My first reaction was kind of like a, a Mount Rushmore type thing of Wake Forest. It never really occurred to me that my face would be 12 feet tall on the lower quad. Whenever I'd walk by it, I'd see all these people standing there looking at it, and I would just kind of, you know, just rush by with my head down. Everyone was just like on the quad taking pictures of it on their phones. People came up to me all day being like, hey, oh my gosh, what's this about? What is this? They wanted to know what the project was about or why my face was on the wall. And so I sort of informed them about the project and the website and where to go to. I wouldn't say it would happen all the time, but it does have potential to impact that deeply. What I loved about it was how beautifully constructed it is in terms of being a unified piece. Um, and just the way that you have the faces looking off and then, you know, the one person sort of who looks at you. I just think, again, it's another one of those things that draws you in. It definitely is very eye-catching just walking down the quad and you see these four, five, however many giant heads on the wall. Just came up and looked and one of our friends actually recognized one of the people, so it was pretty cool to uh, see him blown up like 15 feet tall. Nick is one of my good friends, so right when I saw it I was like, whoa! How did you get on the wall in that beautiful picture? I actually saw the guy's face like right above it, so I was like, dude, that's a, dude, you're the dude on the wall. And so I uh, <laughs> got to know him a little bit. When you actually like break that ice, it's like kind of cool. It's nice that that person actually thought of like, what is this thing that I see? I think it, it, it did something to stir up something on campus. I don't quite know what that something was, but even if it's as small, even if it's just as, as small as somebody looking at the wall and seeing something that they didn't see before. I mean, when you first see the wall, it can immediately look like this is some superficial attempt to broadcast racial diversity. But you know, if you go into the project a little bit further and find out what it's actually about, you'll see that it's more about you know Wake Forest students as individuals and the cohesion between us all. And you look at the wall, and there's five very separate individuals there. But the fact is they're all interconnected. I hope the university embraces it, on, so maybe not even on such an artistic level, but on a branding issue level of who the university is. It's who are we as Wake Forest? Who are we as individuals? Who are we as uh, residents of Winston-Salem? Although it's a big question, and this can this art answer the question? No, there's no answer. What the art can do is spark dialogue. The way Wake is, just getting people to talk about it is something that I thought was a huge thing and my own friends, a lot of them are closed-minded and even them taking the few steps to go on the website or letting me explain it to them, they're like, oh wow, that's really cool. It gave me a chance to interact with people who I wanted to talk to and I had never had the chance to. What I've come to realize is that like everyone has the same intentions, like, like people just want to know other people, like we're all social people and like everyone's like not out to get everyone, like everyone just like wants to have a good time at the end of the day. And this moment in Wake Forest history is, is so pivotal because we're celebrating 50 years of integration. In essence, 50 years of advancement toward inclusion. And for this, there was a certain level of consciousness that to me represented a, a, a shift in how people were approaching inclusion and thinking about diversity and inclusion on campus. You know, all these different faces representing different facets of the Wake Forest experience, but yet there's still something that connects us. And the fact that people are actually thinking and talking about difference and also talking about what makes us a great university, what connects us here. We don't expect this project to change the face of Wake Forest. However, we want to remind ourselves of something that can be easily forgotten amidst the rigors of this university. The fact that we're all here, right now, part of the Wake community. Let's take pride in this and support each other. Let's all wear the name Wake Forest regardless of affiliations or interests within the university. We believe that if we, as Wake Forest students, can take a step back and recognize, appreciate, and commend others for the amazing things they're doing, whether or not they coincide with our own personal interests, this university will thrive. Our message is simple. However, it's going to take effort from every one of us. If we can do this, we will strengthen our community so that everyone can feel a part of Wake Forest. Oh, something good Oh, something good tonight Made me forget
Bhagavad